Good morning, guys. Hopefully you are having a wonderful day so far. It is Friday, which means that it is the end of the week, so there you go, there you have it. I can say that I'm definitely looking forward to the weekend, but I'm not necessarily looking forward to all of the driving that's about to take place. Because as I was mentioning last night, we are going to see Christina's family tonight. They're supposed to be having some sort of a yard sale this weekend, but with the rain, it's probably not gonna happen. But this morning, I'm hitting the ground running. It's 9 a.m. I have exercised, showered, shaved, packed. Well, packed all of my clothes and toiletries and whatnot. I've still got to pack my tech bag, my gear bag, but I'll do that here in just a little while. I'm kind of trying to hold off to see exactly how much space we're gonna have in the car because again, I really wanna take the drone, but I don't know if that whole backpack is going to fit. So I think the worst case scenario, I'd be able to take like the batteries, the charger, maybe the controller and fit it into my tech bag. I guess maybe the controller could go into my, my duffel bag, the one where I put all my clothes and then just have the drone standing free. That's probably one way to work around it and it will give me the opportunity to fly the drone in much more wide open spaces. Where Christina's parents live, so much wide open space out there, just flat land. Which means I could probably fly it pretty decently far away and not necessarily lose sight of it. That's the thing I've been terrified of around here. There are so many trees that I just avoid flying it at any distance. I take it straight up and that's about all that I've done with it so far. If you've noticed from some of my videos from it, it's basically just straight up, maybe over a little, and then back down. Because I'm still, I'm a little skittish about it. And I'd like to get more comfortable with it. But as I was mentioning, I have hit the ground running. It's Friday, which means that tomorrow I would normally put up my news video, but I'm not going to be here to make it. So I've gone ahead and gotten all my stories in order. It's about 20 stories, but a lot of them kind of segue into each other. So I think I can get through that pretty quickly trying to decide if I want to go ahead and film it right now at nine o'clock in the morning or wait until after my morning meeting. I probably ought to go ahead and film it just to get it over with. I would say I need to go ahead and work on that. I keep saying it, that, that little quadcopter video, I, I've been meaning to film it for just days and days and I just haven't yet. I was thinking about doing it this morning, but as you may be able to tell, it's, it's pretty foggy out there. So much so that when I took Duncan to school this morning for his after school program summer thing, he kept commenting on just how hard it was to see and how foggy it was and everything. Thing. Hopefully that'll burn off by the middle of the day. But anyway, I think I am gonna go ahead and film that video just to go ahead and get it done, get it out of the way. That was a little bit more frustrating than I anticipated, but shot the news video. The Twill News video is filmed. It's not done, I haven't edited or anything, but I've gone ahead and pulled everything in. I've gotta get all my screenshots in order. Anyway, what was frustrating about it was sat here, started filming, got through like, I think I filmed for 15 to 16 minutes or something. I looked up and the camera was not filming. It's like, what? So I went and looked at the footage. I had 13, almost 14 minutes of footage. So 1350, something like that. Uh, and I finally got to the end of it and it's like, okay, I had just started talking about a new story. I had about 30 seconds of footage of that new story. So I just cut there and reshot that story and moved on. The problem with this is I get into the zone. I start filming and I just stop paying attention to the camera. That's how I am the way that I am on camera is that I forget the camera's there. I just talk like I'm talking to a person and a person doesn't generally have a counter on their head telling you that they're filming. If they did, it would be a lot more awkward. But because I don't pay hugely close attention to the camera, I don't notice when it stops filming. I need a beeper or a buzzer or something built into it. I'll look into that. But anyway, it's done now. It's a total of 19 minutes of footage that I'm gonna have to cut down and hopefully I can get it to less than 10 minutes. Ugh. But my morning meeting starts in about eight minutes, so I probably ought to get to that. Even more success with this thing I was working on for work. As you can see, I have two things in here now. If I say show archived results, there's another one now. Goes away, comes back. Now if I want to search those, if I want to filter it down by the name, I can pick out the letter T. And anything with the letter T in it stays there. If I want something that starts with an M, there's the M's. If I want something that starts with a capital T, there's just the T. Cool. That is very, very nice. That was definitely a lot more hassle than it really should have been. I, I did not read the documentation closely enough. There were a couple of things that it just kept telling me to use. But then in little fine print inside of the documentation, it says, by the way, this is not actually implemented. You're gonna have to make this on your own. It's like, how did I miss that? I'm dumb. And it is now, let's see, it's, it's like 12.15 already, I think. I'm gonna, I keep saying it, I'm gonna go ahead and fly the G-Tang. Uh, it looks like all the fog has burned off and it is drying up a little bit out there. 
super tempted to drive over to the park though. I haven't been over there in so long and it would give me so much more room to fly around without a bunch of trees around. So maybe we'll do that real quick and then have some lunch. Did I have breakfast this morning? I don't think I had breakfast this morning. Oops. Now this is definitely the face palm to end all face palms. Came out to this big field here. I've flown quadcopters out here a bunch of times. Flying around, having a good time. There's always some weirdness that happens when I fly out here. I'm guessing there must be some sort of a, a Wi-Fi signal that interferes or something. But I was flying around, everything was going just fine. Battery life seemed to be a bit short. It started giving me the uh, LVC warning a little bit earlier than expected. I headed out over that direction and it dropped out of the sky. So battery ran out, it died. And now I can't find it because the grass here is kind of thick, kind of deep. I know it was in this general area, but I've been walking this area for 10 or 15 minutes so far. I don't see it. It's black, it's, you know, very, very dark in this green grass. It just kind of blends in. So yeah, it may be gone. I don't know. And there's a truck coming, which means there's probably somebody coming to ask me questions. Well, at least the security, whatever people that were, never came over. They never asked a question or anything. Just feel stupid that this is completely gone. I mean, I've gone one side to the other, and I know it was in this general area, actually right about there, when it came down. I don't even know. I'm gonna keep looking for another couple of minutes, but it's getting very hot out here and I'm starting to get hungry. And I think the worst part of it, it's not so much that it's lost because there will always be more quadcopters. It's the fact that there was footage on it, you know, that I'd been filming while I was flying it around and it's just gone. All that footage, all that time wasted. Yeah, I don't know. I've been out here searching for too long, getting way too hot. Maybe I can go home, pull the footage in, look through it, see if I can figure out. There's lines on the field. They're, they're sort of hidden lines where it's grown up so much and it was a soccer field. Maybe from the footage I can determine what line it was on or what line it was around and come back later in the day. Footage reviewed, I think I have a pretty good idea of where it is, so I'm actually gonna run back over there very quickly. Still haven't had lunch uh, and I'm gonna see if I can find it very, very quickly and then come home. No luck. Hunted around again. I thought I found the, the place I saw in the video. I should have brought my laptop with me. Mistakes were made. I should have either printed out a photo of what I saw in the video, or I should have brought the laptop along. And I didn't do that. Maybe I'll have some lunch and then come back. I just, again, I don't care so much about having lost the quadcopter. It sucks. I care about having lost the footage that was on it. Well, I have somewhat taken my mind off of my bummed outedness about the quadcopter by working on work stuff. Got my code all updated and pushed out. Actually automatically created 250 new items for this database. So you can see down here I have pagination and it works when I hit the buttons. I don't have sorting. For whatever reason, sorting didn't want to work for me, but I can go between the pages. I can change whether or not I want to show the archived ones. I don't have any that are archived, but the way I've got it set up, if I click the trash button, it's gonna pop up and say, do you sure you want, are you sure you want to delete this? Yes, and it goes away. And then if I hit show archived, they pop back in. Oh look, there's archived ones now. Isn't that nifty? I can also click this little button and it does a drop down. I can make changes to things in here and then save it on here and it'll save it immediately. So if I wanted to add a description of just a whole bunch of nothing and hit save, Oh look, there's my description, and it's there. And I can delete it. It's now archived. Bring it back up. There's my description again. Make a change to it. Make it active again. And we're back. Cool stuff. Man packing achieved. And the drone is in here. I've got it, I've got it ready to go. I've got the, everything in here, ready to go. I was hoping to get Deadpool downloaded before we left, but uh, it doesn't look like that's gonna work out. 40% is going super slow. All packed, ready to go. We got everything we could possibly ever need, ever. I hope so. All of the things that have ever existed. If we don't have something, we'll go buy it. <laughs> I think we've got everything though. And you can probably see in the background there, jam-packed full. Hopefully I don't have to slam on the brakes too hard. Although the bag that would come flying forward, it's just, it's a soft bag full of clothes. So I would get hit with a soft bag full of clothes. To Western Kentucky. Took a quick stop because Ellis needed a bottle and I needed a bathroom. And this place had surge. <laughs> I haven't had surge in all of the years. It went away and then it came back a couple of years ago. They were 99 cents a piece. He's <clears throat> drinking a regular soda. Yeah, it's not it's, diet. It's odd. If they had a diet, I would have gotten a diet, but 
They did not. I don't think they make a diet surge. I don't think so. 230 calories in one can. That's why I don't do this. That's empty calories. Tasty calories, but, it's really but empty. Good. We have arrived. It's dark, it's late, but we're here. He's four months old. And he's super happy. Yeah, but you see grandma. I don't know what's going on. Duncan's not. Duncan's not at all. See the path up. I get his belly. I get his belly. I get your belly. I get his foot. Num, num, num. Num, num, num. Willy Wonka's on. Ellis is mesmerized. All right, well, it's very late. Actually, it's not even that late, but it feels like it is because we're in a different time zone. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up because the longer that I go on, the larger the video is going to be, the more of my tethering data I have to use to upload it. Seriously tempted to try to film tomorrow's video using the iPhone so I can do all of the editing and uploading from that So I think it will be smaller. I don't know. I'll think about that. Anyway, as always, thank you guys so much for watching Thank you for spending the day with me and the family and helping me on the hunt for the missing quadcopter And we will see you again tomorrow. Bye guys